you guys it's your girl jasmine and i'm back with another video so today i'm gonna be doing a chit chat get ready with me um yeah real simple giving you guys a life update since i haven't been on youtube for like a year and a half so yeah i'm back <laughs> i hope you miss me because i miss y'all so yeah i'm super super excited to be back yay and yeah so all brand new content all brand new stuff to come you know real cute like and stuff so yeah if you guys want to see what i've been up to for the past year and a half while i left youtube while i'm back all that good stuff then just keep on watching so yeah so just like i said keep watching why are you not watching let's get into it <laughs> all right all right so i'm building <laughs> no seriously though this is frightening this is my first time filming in a year and a half like literally a year and a half because it's what six months into the year so yeah it's the first of the month i'll put it out i remember i was doing vlogmas a year and a half ago so yeah wow it's really been a year and a half since i posted on youtube oh oh i don't i'm, I'm probably gonna say this in the intro but i mean i guess i should say it now hello hi <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's your girl Jazz. And I'm doing a chit chat get ready with me. Right now, I'm putting on moisturizer. People are texting me already. Yeah, but oh, what moisturizer is this? From Ultra Repair Cream by First A Beauty. Yeah, so I am going to a sip and paint at my friend um, Chelsea's house. She's having one. So, yeah, that's going to be fun or whatever. So, it gave me a reason to put on makeup and be a bad bitty, you know. Um, yeah, it's really been a long time. That's what, was that what I was talking about? <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no, it's been a long, that's what I was talking about. Let me get back on top. <laughs> so, it's been a long time since I've been on the YouTube verse. <laughs> um a lot has changed in my life so i will be updating you guys on what's going on in my show life and if i run out of things to update you guys on then we're just gonna talk about a topic that comes to my mind or something i'll probably like go on instagram real quick and ask somebody to tell me a topic to talk about or something but whatever anyways so yeah we're gonna do that um so I'm just putting my moisturizer. I do my makeup completely different since a year and a half ago. I would hope so. My makeup used to look terrible. Now my makeup is bomb, <laughs> period. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm super excited to be doing this. I'm nervous, but I'm super excited. I just, it's been a, such a long time and I'm happy to be doing it again. I, I don't know how consistent I'm going to be. Like I'm not about to be on some full influencer type of stuff because We'll get into a little bit later, but I have some big changes going on in my life and I'm super excited to share them with you guys. Um, so I'm just super excited for what's to come in the next couple of weeks and it's just super, super exciting. So I thought that I would finally, I've been fighting this for forever. I kept saying I wanted to do it and get back on YouTube and then I never did it, but I have so many people in my corner motivating me to do it. So i thought that it was finally time so i thought that i'd start with just like a chit chat get ready with me because i think that's really where I, that, i'll talk about that too and how i really want my channel to be now since i've evolved as a person in a year and a half i would hope so so um i think that that i want my channel to be a lot different um so yeah we'll get into all that but um yeah let's just let's just start <laughs> so um i'm about to prime with the milk I, again i'm not gonna be explaining what i'm using because yeah it's just gonna take too much time if you want to know what i'm using then i can like do a real makeup tutorial but other than that i'm just gonna be putting on makeup and talking because i think that's just a lot better i hope this is recording because if it's not recording i'm going to be very mad let's just put it that way okay but anyways yeah so what's been up with me last time you guys saw me i was a sophomore in college well kind of a sophomore kind of a junior so now i am in i am alumna i graduated ah! <laughs> 
I graduated from the illustrious and preeminent North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University. Um, I, I'm just so proud of myself. Um, I finished college in three years, not four, three, like I did in high school. So um, I'm done with like the big important steps like two years ahead so i'm super proud of myself i'm super happy that i was able to finish magna cum laude <laughs> period <laughs> so i'm super proud of myself and i graduated so that's super exciting um yeah so i'm a graduate so that's awesome i am just it's been a long time coming last time you guys saw me was december and so when that time came around i was still technically no i was a was i a junior i was a junior at the time because i was what first no 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 so i was a so second semester sophomore and then i was a first semester junior so that summer i ended up taking a bunch of like classes online and whatnot so yes i took like, a bunch of classes online and i got my degree uh well not a bunch but i took um some classes i was in minneapolis and so i had a lot <laughs> i actually was in minneapolis minnesota last summer actually doing an internship and so while i was doing that internship in minneapolis if you're wondering what i'm doing i'm uh mixing my foundations i'll tell you my foundations i'm mixing the lancome tanti doll ultra wear in the shade 470 suede c and then mixing that with the Born This Way foundation in Butter Pecan. So um, I like to mix these because I like the coverage of both of them. And I mean, I could use either one by themselves, but I just naturally like to mix my foundation. So yeah. But anyways, yeah. So this su last summer, I was in Minneapolis. And so I was just super busy that I just didn't have time to like vlog or anything like that so I mean if you knew I was in Minneapolis you knew I was in Minneapolis and if you didn't know I was in Minneapolis you didn't know I was in Minneapolis but now you know so yeah so I did that and then um while I was there I was taking oh, oh, oh my gosh see I don't usually do my have my like hair done before my makeup but I'm on YouTube and I didn't want to look like a freaking hoodlum with my bonnet on so yeah so we're gonna have to get that out of my hair okay we're back in business um I actually need a little bit more foundation because yeah I'm just not used to doing my freaking makeup with my hair already done this is gonna agitate me but yeah so that happened so I went and took all those classes, not a bunch of classes. Why do I keep acting like I took a bunch of classes? I took two each session, so four classes in total over the summer. And so that finally, um, cause I mean, I could have just waited and graduated this coming fall, but I was like, I would have only been needing what, two classes. And so I'm like, I might as well just blow it out the way and get it done and graduate with my friends, my roommates. So that's what I did. And so I'm very happy that I did that because it put me in, just the Lord put me in to such great opportunities that I'm going to talk about next, which I'm just so excited. Um, yeah, but so I've just been blessed. I'm so extremely blessed. I can't say that enough that I'm extremely blessed um, with everything that has been happening to me over the past year and a half. I've had so many blessings come my way and um, I'm nothing but grateful for all the opportunities that I have, you know, all that stuff. I'm sorry if I'm not looking in the camera. I'm just trying to get my my situation together. See, it's just, this is not working. This is just not working for me. This is just, this is not it. I just don't like doing my freaking makeup with my hair on. A lot of females can do it, but I can't. I don't understand what sorcery this is. I'm too messy for this. But, um, yeah. So, there's that. So, I am an alumna. Like, I'm not in college anymore. And honestly, it's really kind of freaky, like, to think that I'm genuinely not in college anymore. Like, it's set in and it's real to me, but it's like, I don't feel like it's really going to be real till, um, till like august comes around and i don't have to go back to class again i think that's when it's really gonna hit me like girl you're not in school like 
I'm an adult, <laughs> you know, and I'm only, I just turned 20, um, April 30th, so I'm only 20, so it's, like, even more surreal for me, because it's, like, I'm a whole, like, one to two years ahead, you know, people usually graduate between 21 and 23, so I'm, like, you know, super ahead in my life, you know, and I, I'm not afraid of it in any type of way, I feel like I have a, I'm way more mature than most 20 year olds just naturally I've naturally always kind of been more mature so I think that it always it's never bothered me my age has never bothered me because I don't I don't know I just don't view myself like a normal 20 year old and as I shouldn't because I'm a baddie <laughs> period I think I, I think that graduating and all the other things that have happened in my life I think they're all kind of making me kind of realize who I am and kind of making me kind of kind of understand that I can really give myself some type of praise like I did it like I really did that you know so I think that's really where I'm at so with that being said um graduating has just been great I've been a sky high ever since um the whole school year my whole senior year was amazing I had a great time you know I was still at ASL um doing NSP and everything like that and then just you know focusing on trying to get a job outside after school and everything like that I also have an internship um while here in Greensboro that I work and everything like that so I was just super super busy this year it's been a frantic frantic year and especially this month of May since I graduated well not May it's June now it's June 1st actually and so um yeah, so all of the month of May was just nonstop. It's like really been nonstop. And so it's my life still hasn't slowed down and I don't think it's gonna slow down for months from now. But yeah, it's 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 really nonstop because and I think I can finally go ahead and say because I keep mentioning it but not saying it. But I I okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was selected to be the social media intern for Fenty Beauty. <laughs> yes, so I um, applied to be the social media intern for Fenty Beauty. And you might have seen the tweet, you might not have seen the tweet. Um, but I went and I decided that I really wanted to... Um, I wanted to make myself stand out and I was like how am I gonna make myself stand out so I was like you know what I'm gonna go on Twitter and I'm about to tell Twitter to tag Fenty so they'll look at my application because I don't have I've never had an internship uh, my dream job is to let's start there my dream job is to work in the beauty industry I really want to do um, marketing and social media in beauty I really want to work with influencers create PR kits you know come up with influencer lists handle social media posts handle sponsor posts kind of pick who does sponsor posts pick what the sponsor post is supposed to be about everything like that you know help with campaigns all that type of stuff that's really what I want to do um, I don't even think I said it I'm such an idiot I graduated with a bachelor's of science in journalism and mass communications with a concentration in public relations and a minor in marketing. A lot of people were um, DMing me, asking me that after um, I um, posted about the internship. So yeah, so I was extremely, extremely blessed to um, get that internship but yeah, with the story and how it started. Yeah, so, so I was like, let me go and tag them, like try and get people to tag them so they'll just at least look at my application because I might not have experience but this is my dream, this is my passion, I know this is the field I want to be in. I just realized, I started my face, I was supposed to do my eyes first. Well, just gonna have to pray I don't have a bunch of fallout under my eyes. But yeah, so, yeah, so I went and I posted on Twitter and I'm like, hey, like I just, um, and I'll put the tweet in here somewhere on the screen or something but yeah so i tweeted and i was like hey like i just applied for this internship i really want them to notice me like can you just tag them please um yeah so i didn't think i was i was expecting like you know my friends you know people that know me you know twitter friends you know going to tag them you know it'd be a little thing but this tweet went viral when I, I was like bro my phone just started going off the it was crazy because it was like at first nobody was retweeting it it was just like people liking it and then out of nowhere like and I think my friend shout out to my friend 
Jonathan. You guys have actually seen Jonathan before. He's in my baby food challenge video that I posted a long time ago. So I'll um like put that up there or whatever. But yeah, so shout out to Jonathan. Jonathan is like he's don't tell him I said this, but he's kind of kind of known, kind of popping. Not like on social uh, he just knows a lot of people on our campus and stuff like you know john like if you go to ant you know john so yeah so my friend john he goes and retweets it and i think that's what really like made it skyrocket is after john retweeted it and so once john retweeted it the, the tweet just went stupid like it just got so many retweets so many people were tagging and like it was just so so extremely nice i was just uh, I just felt so blessed. It was really just unmatched, you know, the love that I was getting. It was so sweet. I really appreciated all the support. And if you're one of the people that retweeted or tagged or anything like that, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Thank you. Like, I mean, I did some of the work, but who knows? I, even in my interviews, they said that the main reason that they they saw the tweet, that, that was, they saw the tweet. So, so shout out to y'all if you did see the tweet shout out to y'all um so i genuinely appreciated the love and support that i got and so yeah so that's what helped me and so after um the day that i got the tweet the day that i posted the tweet that same day um um the rep for Fenty emailed me and was like hey like we we saw your application we want to um talk on the phone with you and so from there it's history and I am the social media intern for Fenty Beauty I am so extremely thankful for this opportunity I just I'm so grateful I don't know I just can't believe it you like when I got the email that I got the internship I just instantly I couldn't know at first because I was I was I was just recently in um DC like DMV area DC um for a friend my roommate Tori um for her graduation party and so I had did I did a I did an interview with Fenty before I hit the road and then they told me they were gonna hit me back you know later on in the week to kind of let me know if I got the job or not so you know I was just kind of up in the air of the whole weekend I was just like super scared and so we were sitting in the living room at um my friend Tori's house and um just talking to her parents everything like that and then I check my email like a million times in a day like I'm always checking my email like I can be in the club and look at my email I just hate having a bunch of emails loaded up in my um inbox and stuff like that annoys the crap out of me like seeing like oh 100 emails I would never have 100 emails loaded up in my inbox so yeah so yeah, so that annoys the crap out of me, so I'm always checking my email. So I went to go check my email, like I always do, and it said we want to offer you the job. And I, at first, I was just in shock, and I was like, I got it. And everyone's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I got the internship. So everybody's like, yay! And so we're all sitting in the living room. Everybody's like telling me congratulations, you know, showing me love. My roommate Chase, Tori, um fourth roommate she doesn't like live with us but she's like technically our fourth roommate um my friend chase is a uh, best friend jada our friend um jada and um yeah so they were all and, and tori's parents they were all you know showing love and everything like that it was just so so sweet um and so you know i'm sitting in the living room and i'm like all right i gotta go tell my mom so i run downstairs to go um just to be private and go talk to my mom and i go tell her i'm like i got it and then as soon as I told my mom, I just couldn't help it. And I just started boo-hoo crying. Because I'm a big crybaby, like, big time. Like, TV shows, uh, a, a sad video, like, anything will make me cry. Like, I will boo-hoo, like. But, yeah, no. So, that was just so, so, it was just a crazy day. Yeah, no. So, I called my mom, and I just couldn't stop crying. Like, I was crying for at least, like, 30 minutes. Like, my roommates were like, why are you crying? Like, everybody's like, why are you crying? This is a good thing. And I'm just like, I couldn't believe that I got it. It was just like, I was praying. I'm, I'm going to cry right now just even thinking about it. It was just like, whew, it was just, it was a blessing, man. I don't, I don't think people understand. No, people understand. The people that are close to me understand how much of a blessing this is for me. Because if you know me, you know I love makeup. I can talk about makeup all day. I know all the new releases. Like, I know what people think about the product. What people don't like about the product. What people like about the product. I know what the campaign is looking like. Like, I know all that. 
like I'm into that like I love 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 the beauty industry specifically makeup and I just love that world and so it's just I had always like I just always talk about makeup I'm always like you know doing my makeup you know everything like that so I was like this is this is for me and I've been praying so hard I remember the day that I applied for the job after I put in the application I just immediately started praying I was just like please like please god like please give me this opportunity i will not mess this up like please give me this opportunity and he you ask you shall receive and man the lord man it's insane it's just so insane to me that i cannot believe it like i really cannot believe it but yeah so i'll be the social media intern for fenty beauty i'm so excited um i'll be moving to san francisco i'm currently in greensboro still um because i was like i said doing an internship here in greensboro so um i'm finishing my internship up in greensboro and then i'll be moving to san francisco in the next two weeks so it's super exciting super scary i'm moving all the way across the country i've never been to california i've never been to the other side of the country before so i'm super super scared um but you know you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> period i'm sorry i'm just it's not it's not working it's just not i'm gonna have to curl my hair again in the front i'm gonna have to but yeah and so yeah so that's that so i got the internship with fenty so it kind of it kind of pushed me to really want to get back into youtube because i'm like look like i need to you know really make the most out of this i'm about to be living in one of the most beautiful cities in the country i might as well you know get back into my youtube bag and really start doing this again and really start doing what I love because I really do miss making videos and everything like that you know like I really miss that a lot so with that being said I will be back posting videos I will not I repeat I will not be posting any videos at my job no you cannot hit me up to be on the PR list like no like I mean if you're a good influencer and I feel like you could help the Fenty brand, then I'll let my boss know, maybe. But, like, don't be, like, blowing me up. Or, I just hope nobody, I mean, uh, I mean, I just hope nobody's, like, blowing me up trying to get themselves on a PR list or anything crazy like that. Because, or asking me to do videos at my job or trying to tell about new releases and stuff. Because that's just not happening. It's, I, I'm very private about my life. I'm very private about certain parts of my life. I don't like to show my personal life too much. It's just, it's a personal preference for me. I just don't really like when people know my moves. So for me, for people to even know I have this internship is really out of my comfort zone because I naturally wouldn't even tell. Like naturally, that's just not my thing. Like I just don't like promoting it, you know? So I will not be recording videos at my job or anything like that maybe i'll do like a like a get wake up with me video on the day i go to my first day or if like my job wants me to do something with my channel for fenty i'll do that but to say that i'll do a day in the life and be vlogging around my office i highly doubt it um highly highly doubt it it's just certain things that need to be kept private your relationship and your work life and that is two things that i will be very strict about like no post I, i'm not the type of person to post my relationship and i'm definitely not the person to be posting about my work life it just ain't me it ain't it this ain't the one <laughs> ain't the one so yeah so that is where i'm at with that um uh, like i said i'm super scared i'm moving to san francisco like i've never been to san francisco a day in my life so I've never been to the other side of the country day in my life. I've never been to California. I've never been to none of those places. So, yeah. So, this is scary. Yeah, no. So, that is where my life is at right now. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm a graduate. I am working for Fenty Beauty, Rihanna's brand. Um, hello. It's Fenty Beauty. Like, they're completely, like, amazing. Like, 
like they their brand is so influential their social media is so fun and interactive and it's different from other social medias because they like to take a fun approach to it they really like to interact with their consumers like they're normal people like they're when they're i don't know if you ever go check out so fenty social media and just see how they come back to their social media their twitter and their instagram and just see how they come back to their consumer like they're literally talking like a normal person and i love that they don't keep it generic and i respect that so so much and i love that they take that approach because it's like rihanna herself you know she's so authentic she's so different she's not like everybody else you know what i'm saying yeah so yeah so my channel it had a focus but it didn't have a focus like it was supposed to be focused on my college life and like promoting people to go to college and everything like that because that's always been my mo like always 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 college 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 like i promote college like no other like i think that that is an experience you should always have specifically at an hbcu if you are a black if you are black you need to go to an hbcu period a pwi is great but you have your whole life to be a minority Okay, you have your whole life to be the minority. You need to be around your people, be with your people, because no one is going to rock with you like your people do. And I promise you, going to an HBCU is it. And if you're going to go to the right one, you need to go to the best one. <laughs> North Carolina ain't <ANC>. it. Period. <laughs> and it's crazy. I don't know if, if you, I don't know. I mean, it might be a bunch of new people that watch this video with none of my old subscribers. But I mean, if any old subscribers are watching this, then you've probably seen the video that's on my channel where I said I was going to leave. And it's crazy to think that I talked all that crap, trap about, like, crap about Auntie, and I love Auntie to death now. Like, that, I, like, ride or die. Like, that is my school. That is my, like, that's my, like, I ride for my school. I can talk my junk about my school, but I love me some Auntie, okay? Unless somebody else try and talk about Auntie, we can go to blows. Period. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's that. So, yeah, so I think that I really want to take my channel into a different realm because I don't want to be this, like, full-time YouTuber or anything like that. Like, I still want to live a normal life. I still want to work. Um, I just, that's just something I really just want to do. I really enjoy working, going to a 9 to 5. So, I enjoy that. So, that's what I still want to do. I still want to create everything like that. But I do enjoy being on YouTube and I did miss videos. So, with that, I think what I'm going to do with my channel is I think I'm going to segue into being more of a, like this, doing a lot more chit-chat, get ready with me's, where I can just like talk about topics, you know, because I love giving my opinion. I'm a tourist, so I love to argue. <laughs> so I I love to give my opinion and I'm very passionate about the things that I speak on because I never speak on things that I don't know what I'm talking about. So yeah, so with that, I'm super, super excited. Um, yeah, no, I'm super excited about that. Um, so I am going to be kind of making this channel a lot more chit chat, get ready with me, like um, vlogging on the weekends. That's really about it. Um, and then maybe like a sprinkle of fun videos and tutorials here and there. But I don't even think I'm really going to do tutorials because I don't have much to teach. So my makeup routine doesn't very change very often. So it's not much to see, you know. So I might change my, I might change a product or two there or something like that. But I'm not super into eyeshadow. So I'm not going to be doing these like crazy elaborate eyeshadow looks. Like I don't do none of that. Like that's not the channel if you're looking for that this ain't the channel for you okay because it ain't one it ain't this one i don't do none of that so yeah so there's that so i think i really want to take my channel into that direction i think i really want to do a lot of these just chit chats and vlogs i think that what was i talking about dang what was i talking about oh my channel yeah so it's gonna be straight like get ready with me's and vlogs that's it that's really what that just of that was about yeah so i mean if there's anything else you got oh and giving tips maybe you know a lot of talking videos giving tips you know stuff like that maybe like q and a's or like you know oh advice i wanted to do that last time on my channel but it never really happened but yeah maybe like if i get like a steady following going again doing advice for people and stuff like that but other than that nothing else i really don't see myself doing much of anything else i'm about to be ready like super early well no maybe not <laughs> hopefully 
I think I might be ready early this time. I'm usually like always late. So lately, since I've been doing my makeup like real beat and stuff, now that I do a uh, correction, now that I know how to do my makeup, I be taking forever. But uh, you yeah, know, so oops, I put a little too much. But yeah, there's that. So that's where my channel, I think, is going to take its turn. I think that's really where this channel is going to be about. Um, just a lot of, just more focus. Because like I said, I do not, I repeat, I do not want to be some full-time beauty influencer, you know. Like, I want to get a little cute YouTube coin. That'd be cool, you know. A little chick. That'd be nice. But I mean, that's not really what I'm doing this for, for the check. Like, I mean... It's cool, but I think I really just do this because I enjoy it. And people always ask me about my makeup. So, I mean, I might as well share my secrets because people always, like, literally people are always asking me about my makeup. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, so, yeah, so that's what I'm really going to be doing. I don't know. I usually do this little technique up under my eye. I'm not going to explain it here because, again, like I said, if you guys really want to make a tutorial, I can do a makeup tutorial. But, yeah. Yeah, I know. So, there's that. So, that's my life. That's what this channel is going to really turn into, hopefully, Lord's willing. You know, that can be what I get myself consistent into. So, I'm going to start with, no, I'm going to start with a transition shade out of the, it's my right ring palette. So, I'm going to start with a transition shade. I'm going to go into Spice in here. But yeah, no. So that's really where my channel is. So that's what it's going to be. I hope you guys are super excited. Um, again, let me know in the comments below, like, what you guys would want from me if you, you know, so I can try and see what, you know, everybody kind of wants, what everybody wants to see. So then it gives me an idea of what to post and what not to post, what to talk about, what not to talk about, you know, different things like that. That is what is up with me. That is my life update. That is what my youtube is going to be taking its turn into so yeah so that's super exciting what's up you guys it's jasmine um i'm popping in because i'm editing the video right now and um it's super long um i take about an hour to do my makeup so the video is like basically an hour and i don't want to give you guys an hour long video like who's gonna watch that that's basically a movie and no so um i'm going to cut the video right here where um it's like done talking about like my life update and everything like that so only half of my face is going to be like done so don't be like alarmed when it jumps and my full face is done but um i'm sorry it's just it's super long and i can't bombard you with so such long and lengthy information but um i will um try and do better in the future when it comes to these chit chat get ready with me is i'll um try and kind of figure out a finagle a way to um make this go a lot faster um if that means i have to have half my face already done or whatever i need to do um i'll figure that out but um thank you guys so 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 much for watching if you guys want to see like a full tutorial on how i do my makeup and i could recreate the look or anything like that just please comment down below but yeah um go ahead and finish out the video but i just wanted to give a quick disclaimer before you were kind of surprised when i didn't have like the rest of the footage so yeah okay all right so i put on lashes what are these where are these lashes from they're from okay they're from aliexpress and they used to have the number on them but oh wait no here it goes okay they're from aliexpress it's called like Viso Free and they're D113. And for lips, I have a bunch of stuff on, so I'm not even about to. Uh -uh. It's like two different lipsticks, two different liners, a gloss. So it's a lot. But yeah, so uh, I'm finished. This is the final look. If you want to see like my full outfit, this dress is from Fashion Nova. You want to see my full outfit? I'm going to take a picture today. If I don't take a picture, it's a problem. So there should be a picture on my Instagram. So go on my Instagram, like the picture, period. Because that's just what you should do. And yeah, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm so happy to be back doing YouTube again. I had a really fun time doing this. So hopefully I can do more of this. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that other stuff. I can't cuss, Lord. So... <laughs> Yeah, so do all that and I will see you guys in my next one.